Hi, I'm Jersey Joe Archino here at the Westchester County Center where the Westchester Knicks just fell to the Fort Wayne Mad Ants 109 to 87. It didn't seem like the Knicks really had any answer for their high powered offense, really emphasized by Andre Emmett's 28 points. He was so explosive. Their team just really emphasized in all the critical areas in all key phases of the game. I think uh, collectively uh, we didn't uh, do the job in the first half uh, that we needed to defensively, giving up 62 points, allowing Andre Emmett to, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, get get off and going. So that that really impacted the game, and the second half was more or less the same. Um, so uh, defensively, uh, we have to continue to get better, and that's something that we have to do as a group. Electrifying plays and defensive stops are something the Knicks can usually expect from Thanasis on Tedekumpo. But after his exit from last night's game to avoid aggravating an injury, those prospects were gone. The Knicks were also in the process of integrating three new players, headlined by former Kentucky Wildcats champion Duran Lamb. What were your thoughts right after the game? Um, we just didn't play with all the energy at the beginning of the game. And we, um, we dug stuff in the holes and we, we tried to fight back, but we couldn't. And they made a lot of shots and we was off today and we couldn't get stopped with the team. Um, we just got to learn from our mistakes and try to pick it up tomorrow. For them. The Knicks will have their work cut out for them tomorrow night as they'll take on the team with the best record in the Atlantic Division, the main Red Claws. It didn't go so well for the Knicks the last time these teams played as they fell to the Red Claws 120-108. to Reporting for the Westchester Knicks, I'm Jersey Joe Archino.